Heavy ammo inbound. Hello everyone, I'm back this time with a how-to video. Uh, I'll be talking about the Xbox One game Heavy DVR, and I'm playing Destiny in the background and it just kind of showcases the issue that I've been having. But as you guys know, I've been uploading a lot of videos using the game DVR and Upload Studio, and it's really awesome, especially since the update where they added a lot of new features. But I've been having one major issue, and that's the fact that the audio and the video are almost always out of sync. And with Destiny, it's not so bad, you know, it's a very straightforward game, but with certain other games, uh, the audio and the video being out of sync really takes away from it. Like, it makes it very confusing, and it looks really ridiculous to boot. So, um, I've been looking everywhere to see if I could find a fix. Not a lot of my friends have had the problem. Um, I did finally manage to find a YouTube video where someone had the same issue and he was able to fix it, so I gave it a try, and it actually worked. So what I'll be doing is showing you guys my twist on what he did and what worked for me. So it's not my idea, I just kind of built upon it. But um, if, you're, if you're on YouTube right now, I do have a YouTube channel, um, youtube.com slash BrinnyBaby13. And I'll have a direct link to uh, the other YouTuber's video. If not, on here, the video is called How to Fix Xbox One Game DVR Audio Out of Sync. And his name is I am Cambodian if you'd like to search it. So here we go, I'll give you the steps on how I managed to fix the issue. Alright, so step one is to disconnect the wireless and that applied to me since I was on a wireless connection. I just went to the network settings on the Xbox One and disconnected my wireless network. If you're on a wired connection, just to be safe, you might try unplugging the Ethernet cord from the back of your Xbox One. Zone A. Step number two is to switch to instant on mode, which you can accomplish by going to settings, power and startup, and then go ahead and switch to instant on and choose whatever features you'd like under that tab. Um, this was not in the YouTube video that I had watched, but I had read a lot uh, while looking into this issue where people were saying that they fared a lot better using instant on mode. I don't particularly like it, but I like making YouTube videos a lot more. So I decided to give it a try, and so far it's been working out okay since, you know, I did this whole thing. So hopefully it'll work for you too. If you'd like to try it, then go ahead and switch to that mode. Now step three is just to turn off your Xbox One console. And to do this, uh, you just go to your console and press the white home button. Hold it for about eight seconds until your Xbox completely shuts off. And what you're accomplishing right now is just giving your Xbox One console a hard reset. Heavy ammo on the way. Now with the next step, what you want to do is uh, keep an eye on your power brick and wait until the light goes from white to orange. And then you want to unplug the power cord from the back of your console and also from the power outlet. And the final step is just to leave your Xbox like that overnight. And um, what I ended up doing was leaving it overnight and then the next day because I was at work and when I came home from work, that's when I reconnected everything. Um, but according to the video, overnight is sufficient. And I hope this helps with your DVR <laughs> woes. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.